Riyadhu Salaheen Chapter 152 Goof words to be uttered before a dying person and his family. UMM Salamah, may Allah be pleased with her the Messenger of Allah, peace be upon him, said, when you visit a sick or a dying person, you should utter good words because the angels say Amin at what you say. She added, when Abu Salamah, may Allah be pleased with him, died, I came to the Prophet, peace be upon him, and said, O Messenger of Allah, Abu Salamah has died. He, peace be upon him, directed me to supplicate thus, O Allah, forgive me and him, and bestow upon me a better future, give me a better substitute. So I supplicated as he directed, and Allah gave me a man who was better for me than Abu Salamah, means, the Prophet Muhammad peace be upon him. The Prophet peace be upon him, married UMM Salamah afterwards. Reported in Sahih Muslim. Commentary, in order to fill the vacuum of the dead person, the family members should pray to Allah to grant them a better substitute as he is omnipotent and nothing is impossible to him. Um Salama, may Allah be pleased with her, reported, I heard the Messenger of Allah, peace be upon him, saying, when a person suffers from a calamity and utters, we belong to Allah and to him we shall return. O oh Allah! Compensate me in my affliction, recompense my loss and give me something better in exchange for it, then Allah surely compensates him with reward and better substitute. UMM Salamah, may Allah be pleased with her, said, when Abu Salamah, may Allah be pleased with him, died, I repeated the same supplication as the Messenger of Allah, peace be upon him, had commanded me, to do. So Allah bestowed upon me a better substitute than him, I was married to Muhammad, the Messenger of Allah, peace be upon him. Reported in Sahih Muslim. Commentary, the better substitute which fell to UMM Salamah, may Allah be pleased with her, as her lot, was her marriage with the Prophet, peace be upon him, after the death of her husband Abu Salama, may Allah be pleased with him. She got the reward in her earthly life. If somebody remains deprived of it in the world, he is sure to have it in the life to come. However, this depends on the will of Allah, for being the Creator, He has the best knowledge of what is appropriate and good for us. Abu Musa al-Ash'ari, may Allah be pleased with him, reported, the Messenger of Allah, peace be upon him, said, when a man's child dies, Allah, the Exalted, asks his angels, have you taken out the life of the child of my slave, and they reply in the affirmative. He then asks, have you taken the fruit of his heart, and they reply in the affirmative. Thereupon he asks, what did my slave say? They say, he praised you and said, in Alila he wa in a ila i rajayan, we belong to Allah and to him we shall return. Allah says, build a house for my slave in Jannah and name it Badal Hamd, the house of praise. Dot. Reported in Jamie at Tirmidhi. Commentary, the death of a child is distressing to parents. But it will be a matter of great excellence on their part if they are patient. Abu Huraira, may Allah be pleased with him, reported, the Messenger of Allah, peace be upon him, said, Allah, the Exalted, says, I have no reward except Jannah for a believing slave of mine who shows patience and anticipates my reward when I take away his favorite one from the inhabitants of the world. Reported in Sahih al-Bukhari. Usamah bin Zaid, may Allah be pleased with them, reported, a daughter of the Prophet, peace be upon him, sent a message to him that her son was at his last breath, and requested him to come to her. The Messenger of Allah, peace be upon him, sent back the informer saying, to Allah belongs what he takes and what he gives, and everything has a limited period, in this world. So ask her to endure patiently, 
and expect the reward of Allah. Reported in Sahih al-Bukhari and Muslim. Commentary, this hadith exhorts us to keep self-composure at a moment of tribulation. The Prophet's daughter mentioned in this hadith is Zainab, may Allah be pleased with her. Salawatullah alayka